everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 159. Today we're going to be stitching using my four in one machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching. I'll start out stitching in the upper left corner. Using the largest curve on my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, I'll stitch a curved line from the upper left to the lower right. When I get to the lower right, I'll rotate my ruler and stitch from the lower right back up to the upper left. From the upper left, I'll travel along my ditch along the top of the block, moving over so that I'm a quarter of an inch away from my first or curved stitch line. From there, I'll stitch over, and I'm going to stitch three echo lines on the outside of that curved design. So I'll stitch along the curve, all the way, then I'm going to travel down my ditch, moving a quarter of an inch, then I'll line up my machine quilting ruler so that the previous stitch line is right under the edge of my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Travel across, then along the ditch, and then back down. From there, I'm going to travel, repeat that process on the bottom side of the block, and then I'm going to travel back up to the upper left corner where I'm ready to begin stitching. In the upper corner, once I'm there, I will actually switch now and use my inside out machine quilting ruler, use the markings on that ruler to measure out. Now these are the vertical marked lines on the ruler are all one inch increments. So from the corner, I'm going to measure three inches on the top and on the bottom along that curved line and mark an increment at the three inch marked line. From there, I'm going to travel along my first stitch line to that marked point. At the marked point, I'm going to stitch a curved line from one marked point across to the opposite one. When I get to the opposite one, I'll travel up my previous stitch line moving up about a quarter of an inch and stitch a second echo line. I'll repeat this one more time so I have three of those echo lines radiating towards the inside from those marked points. From there, I'll travel along my previous stitch line, now moving to across the block, and I'll repeat that process, stitching three of those echo lines moving towards the inside of my design. Once I've stitched those three lines, then I'll travel back towards the outside of the block and finish off this design by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside and then spritz away those marked lines. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.